which story they tell. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't. I mean, I could, there tell, are so tell, many. I could tell a short story about the show, I guess. But, but I, I, I saw one of my old assistants earlier today, and which reminded me of how I ended up getting locks on my door in Shelburne. And, uh, and I live in Shelburne Falls. It's in western Massachusetts. It's really rural. There are not a thousand people in my town. And, and uh, I bought a farmhouse in 1976 and put my studio there. I was looking not for a farmhouse, but for a barn. Got the barn. <coughs> house came for free. And uh, there was you know, one of those deadbolts on the kitchen door, but they never gave me a key to it when I moved in, and it never occurred to me to get one. And there are other doors to the house, but none of them had locks anyway. They're just sort of that thumb latch thing. And uh, anyway, so fast forward, I met my wife because uh, she called a wrong telephone number. And, <laughs> and uh, that's another story. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, I, I ended up traveling down to Texas to go see her uh, most every weekend, or she would come north. But, but I work in a glass studio with a bunch of guys. And, and they're a raucous bunch of people. I mean, they're just outlandish at times. And so the, the way the plane schedules would work, I would try to leave after work on Friday and be home by Sunday before midnight or one and Monday morning and go back to work. But sometimes plane schedules just didn't cooperate and I had to leave at one or two in the afternoon before everybody left. And so when I did that, it was a great time for my crew because they would go out at lunch and buy a case or more beer. And there's something about heat, glass blowing, beer drinking, your guy, well, things would get interesting. And they didn't really get interesting until Ed decided to rip off, he was at a, he was at a, I don't know, some event or some disaster, but he found a whole roll of police line, do not cross tape. <laughs> and so one night, they kind of, or one afternoon, they got kind of liquored up and decided that it would be kind of fun to take this police line do not cross tape and circle my house with it. <laughs> and, and they, they, uh, Wilson uh, fell or lay on the front walk and they chalk line a thing around him <laughs> with, with his head severed and a gun outside his head. And, and then, then they, they went home and slept it off, okay? All is good, right? Josh is gonna think this is funny on Sunday night, it's a big joke, da 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 da. Okay, no. What they didn't realize was that I invited these two women to stay in my house on Friday night because they were in a play in Northampton. And so they drive in after doing their play in the middle <laughs> and the whole house is circled with this, you know, it's obviously a disaster scene. And so what do you think they did? They, well, they called, called the police. police. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. The police in Shelburne arrive, and not a single, there hasn't been a murder in Shelburne Falls since the 1800s. And they had no record of this. But they decided, nevertheless, that it would probably be a good idea to search the house. <laughs> so they walk into my house, and they turn on the lights, and they walk all around, and go from the basement to the attic. And there's, thank the freaking Lord, nothing there to, right. to, that would get me in trouble. And uh, so the police left, the lady stayed overnight, and all is well. Yeah. So, I think. <laughs> um, but I got home on Sunday night, and there, well, okay. So Sergeant Kostansky from the state police gets back home to his office, and he's thinking about my house, and he's thinking, and he's thinking, and he starts to get really like upset and pissed off because he realizes there's not a lock anywhere in my house, on any door, anywhere. And so he gets my phone number from the phone book and he rings me up. And I don't know, those of you who know me know how much I hate answering machines and how I usually answer the phone with a fake accent or do silly stuff. But I did have a phone <laughs> machine, but at that time the phone machine said, help me, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> so back in the squad car, and they come back to my house, and they go from the basement to the attic one more time. And uh, so Sunday night, you know, like I arrive home and like I'm completely oblivious to all this. So Monday morning, I was uh, I had to go all the way down to Shelburne Falls and and 
have a new whatever chewed. And uh, anyway, so, um, so I have locks in my house now, which I don't use. <laughs> well done.